Scientists are giving narcissists MDMA to see if it can help them experience empathy. Dr. Alexa Albert has been a psychiatrist and a psychoanalyst since 2008. She holds a position at the University of Washington, but she also has a private practice where she investigates everything to do with narcissistic personality disorder. This mental disorder can manifest in a number of ways. For instance, a real inflated sense of self-importance, sort of glib superficial charm, or even low self-esteem, which can manifest in depression and anxiety. But perhaps one of the main symptoms of narcissistic personality disorder is a lack of empathy. People with narcissism often uh, find it very difficult to empathize with others. And MDMA is well known for its pro-social effects that help people experience a heightened sense of empathy. So there's a pilot study now which is spearheaded by Dr. Albert. She wants to know that if you give people with narcissism MDMA, will it actually affect their levels of empathy or not? According to Dr. Albert, one of the main parts of narcissistic personality that she is interested in investigating is this way that some people who suffer from the disorder can oscillate between these real grandiose sort of moments to this sort of crushing low self-esteem. Often these patients are coming in depressed or anxious, she said in a recent interview with The Microdose. Perhaps a family member has given them an ultimatum or they've lost another job and they feel a void inside. They often have difficulty with self-regulation and fluctuating self-esteem. On the other hand, they may feel smug and arrogant, resentful that the world doesn't appreciate their greatness, but then they will also feel impotent and powerless when they're unable to finish school or even move out of their parents' home. They may have achieved a lot running companies and gaining power, but inside they don't feel good enough. They seek success after success, but that still doesn't fill the void that they feel. It's theorized that MDMA may well help these people with self-compassion as well as feeling more empathy for other people. Dr. Albert explains that it's not as if narcissists don't understand the concept of empathy. They have a working understanding of what empathy is. They just don't feel it themselves. They have what some people call cognitive empathy. They understand why people feel this way. They understand that other people feel this way. It's just not the way that they feel. And this, Dr. Albert reckons, is often the result of some sort of childhood neglect. And we've seen from previous studies that MDMA can help people with things like complex PTSD. Let's take the typical example of a soldier who's fought in a war, seen some terrible things, and now they're struggling. Well, they can't really go back to that sort of uh, moment that's traumatized them very easily because it brings up all this trauma and these very complicated and unpleasant feelings. But when they had taken MDMA in a clinical setting, in a psychotherapeutic setting, they're more able to deal with the subject matter that traumatized them in the first place. And that's what helps them start to get over it. Did you take your first capsule? Sure. This disconnects the physiological response, that you don't get a panic attack, you don't get the adrenaline kick, you don't, all that fight or flight stuff doesn't happen talking about the trauma. So you're open to the traditional talk therapy in a way you wouldn't be if you didn't have this and, drug first. And that is one of the key things. It is not just the MDMA, it is not just the psychotherapy. It is a synergistic effect between the two. And Dr. Alba is interested whether this could do a similar thing for the narcissists. This is the first time that MDMA is used as a potential therapeutic for a personality disorder, but much of the uh, study's design is taken from PTSD studies. It starts for the participants with a period where they flush out any drugs that they're currently taking um, so that they can sort of reduce the amount of potential variables that uh, would be having any given effect. They would then take part in free preparation sessions before to prepare them 
for the experience. After that, over a period of months, they would have free sessions where they are actually dosed with MDMA. These tend to be smaller doses than people would often take at festivals or nightclubs, and they tend to take place in the morning as not to uh, disrupt the sleep pattern of the participant. And they'll be taking place with trained psychologists and psychiatrists present to guide the individuals through this process. And then they would be having free integration sessions where they go through their experience and they see what they kind of take from it. And that's again with the trained professionals. A week after they have another one of these integration sessions and again three months after and again six months after. In order to measure any differences from the MDMA, participants will be invited to complete a particular questionnaire called the Brief pathological narcissism inventory. Now they'll be asked to do that before and after the MDMA sessions so they can try and work out if it affected the individual's levels of empathy. And since narcissists are associated with not being able to assess themselves very effectively, um, these uh, results won't just be taken on their own. The questionnaire will also be filled out by family members or people, uh, therapists that have worked with the participants in the past so they can compare the results to make sure that everything is tallying up and increase the validity of the findings. That is the main way that they will be measuring any particular differences. And as it's a pilot study, if the results are interesting, then perhaps that would uh, result in a larger study being commissioned, which would be more valid because it would have a much higher sample, therefore be more representative of the general public. It's only a small pilot study with a sample of about 12 and most of the data collection will be taking place next year. However, it's the first time that anyone has investigated uh, MDMA as a potential treatment for personality disorders. So I think it's fascinating and something worth keeping an eye on.